These band images range from sad all the way to downright laughable. So let's hop right into it. Starting us off today, we have the location of the Maid of Harlech, a Lockheed P-38F Lightning Long Range Fighter Jet whose whereabouts is strictly prohibited from being documented publicly by a photograph or otherwise. The jet, which was operated during the Second World War, was an incredibly effective weapons craft, night fighter, and observational aircraft. The plane eventually ended up somewhere along the four mile Harlech Beach as a result of none other than human error. You see the pilot, 2nd Lieutenant Robert F. Elliott of the US military, had taken off using the aircraft's reserve fuel tanks. Not an uncommon practice, but it seems he had forgotten to switch back to the main reserve as 55 minutes into the flight, the left engine lost power. Thinking there was an issue with the engine, Elliott decided to make his way back to the airfield, but before he could, the right engine died too. Elliott made an emergency landing along the shores of the British beach where luckily no one was injured and the plane was eventually claimed by the sand. It wasn't until 65 years later in 2007 that the craft was discovered by a civilian. While many locals are aware of the plane's exact location, the distribution of such information is prohibited by the UK government due to its protected status, which was awarded in an attempt to preserve the wreck as well as the wreck site. Next up, we have images of Winnie the Pooh, which became censored in 2017 in China. While China does have a rich history of censorship in which the ban of Gmail, Google, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, as well as Twitter, now X, are included, no one could have predicted the addition of our honey-loving childhood friend to the list. Images of the funny orange bear became censored after a resemblance was noted between the character and the Chinese Communist Party General Secretary Xi Jinping. The government found the comparison to be a disrespectful mockery of their country's leader and consequently ordered all images of Winnie the Pooh to be blocked from all available search engines, limited as they may be. Next up, we have a series of photos taken during the Great Depression that were banned from being publicly released at the time due to the, well, depressing nature of the content. The photographs were taken by Dorothea Lang, Walker Evans, and a number of their colleagues in an attempt to showcase resilient faces in contrast to the backgrounds of ruin in the United States during the depths of the Great Depression. When the photos were presented to the Farm Security Administration, they were not only rejected, but in an attempt to keep them from being published, were hole punched generally directly through the focal point of the image in the hopes of making them unprintable. Ironically, all this did was garner the images that much more fame and recognition, as when they were eventually released, they not only stood for the people's resilience against the economic collapse, but also freedom of the press. Next up, we have America's Hidden Bunker Mount Pony, the 400 foot long, 140,000 square foot bunker made with one foot thick steel reinforced concrete was built in 1969 and was a self-sustaining, fully equipped radiation hardened facility designed originally as a safe haven to house up to 540 people for up to 30 days in the case of a nuclear attack. However, in 1988, the bunker became much more as it was used to store several billion dollars of federal funds that would be used to replenish US currency and restart the economy in an event of a nuclear attack. The money was stored in the bunker for just shy of 10 years until it was relocated in 1997. Understandably, it was incredibly important at the time that any imagery of the bunker's location, layout, and security functions not be released to the public as it would diminish the secure nature of the underground safe house and holding facility. At our halfway point, we have a series of photographs taken at a United States nuclear power plant depicting the dangerous conditions in which the country stores its nuclear energy, as well as what the plant workers have to a report released by CNN in 2016 showcases the facility in its decrepit state. After the photographs surfaced, nuclear officials used them as an opportunity to request Congress back the administration's push to modernize the facility. Officials also argued that the state of the facility was actually a threat to United States national security goals and said that many critical utility, safety, and support systems had been failing at a dangerous rate, due largely to the fact that the majority of key nuclear facilities in the US were built during World War II with the intention of operating for just 10 to 15 years and have therefore outlived their safe operational lifespan. It seems as though the warnings and pleadings of the nuclear officials have gone unheeded and unheard as the plants depicted in the photographs appear to have undergone no repairs and presumably just continue to deteriorate. No wonder the government didn't want anyone seeing those photos. It's terrifying and they're not doing anything about it. All right, next up we have a photograph of leaked 
Mexican asylum plans delivered to us by none other than the former United States President Donald Trump. Amidst negotiations with Mexico, Trump called a conference to reveal that he had a secret. A secret deal, that is. In the interview, when asked if Trump had made an agreement with Mexico to become a safe third country for asylum seekers, he refused to comment on his discussions with the Mexican president, but instead pulled out a folded piece of paper from his coat's breast pocket and said, that's the agreement that everybody says I don't have. <laughs> and if you're like most people, you might have assumed that what Trump presented to the reporters was nothing more than a blank sheet of folded paper. Well, you would have assumed wrong, as not only was Trump holding a legitimate government document, but it was legitimately legible. As the sun hit the back of the agreement, illuminating the words printed on the page, which were swiftly captured in a photograph that was enhanced to reveal, long story short, that Mexico was to be considered a safe third country, meaning asylum applicants would be processed in Mexico instead of the United States, and that in order for this to happen, Mexico would have 45 days to reduce migration to the United States. Next, we have another case of Chinese government censorship, but unfortunately, unlike the last one, which was actually pretty funny, this one really isn't, as it involves the deaths of many Chinese civilians during a student-led protest in 1989. 35 years ago, across China, many civilians joined together to call for a political reform within the Chinese government that would give more freedoms to the citizens of the country, lower inflation, and overall provide a higher quality of life. While the official number is highly debated, it is estimated that several hundred to several thousand people died in the square on June 4th of 1989, when the government flooded the streets with soldiers and tanks in an attempt to silence protesters. During this sad scene, one man really stood out, known only as Tank Man. He stood in front of a line of tanks blocking their way down the Chang'an Avenue in Beijing. The capture of this image later became a symbol of endurance for the Chinese people. Of course, the event was not a proud moment in Chinese history for either the citizens, filled with hope and passion and met with loss and destruction, or the government, who in their vanity ended countless lives and created animosity amongst its people. Every year on the anniversary, the Chinese government does its best to suppress the image in an attempt to keep the Chinese people from reflecting too hard on the dark day in history. Starting off our top three, we have Putin in drag. That's right, a circulating image of Putin edited to look as though he is wearing drag makeup as well as any others that might pop up have been banned by the Russian government. The image that started it all, which really reminds me of like an Andy Warhol pop art kind of thing, was created by an unknown artist in protest after the anti-gay propaganda law was enacted in Russia, which forbid homosexual acts or discussion in any place where children were present. While the image is, of course, easily available to those of you watching this video, it can still be found in Russia as well, just with a little bit of digging. If you are caught with the image, however, you could receive up to 15 days in a Russian prison or a fine of 3,000 rubles, which at the time the law was put into place was equal to around 53 US dollars. Okay, I am thinking this next one trumps the rest. Well, no, actually, I mean Trump should take a rest from spilling government secrets. I don't know why, but this one actually made me laugh because just reading the headline made me feel like I was being punked. Trump tweets sensitive surveillance images of Iran obtained from a spy satellite. What is going on in the House of Commons? I know that's a Canadian thing, but really. So uh, the image Trump tweeted was of the fallout from a failed Iranian missile launch, and it was taken from a secret spy satellite that no no one except officials with incredibly high clearance is supposed to even know about. At first, people wondered if the image had been taken by a drone, since it was so incredibly clear with lots of discernible detail, but aerospace experts quickly determined that it was in fact taken by a satellite. Not only that, but based on the image alone, experts were also able to trace exactly which satellite the image came from. It just, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's too much for me. Alright, and to finish us off today, we have another good laugh as the Thai king, whose name I am scared to even attempt to pronounce, but I will place it somewhere here, uh, has banned all unflattering photos of himself. Now you might think that means that if a person were to capture him mid-yawn or sneeze, they would have to delete the image, in which the king looks a little bit silly and perhaps slightly less than regal. Well, you'd be wrong again, my friends, because this king likes to party. Not only that, but he likes to cover himself in temporary tattoos and party all night long, which usually ends 
ends up in the disheveled king dressed in nothing but jeans and a very small crop top or a sports bra heading home in his town car the morning after. Now for the people of Germany, which is where the Thai king spends most of his time, this is not an uncommon thing to see. But for the people of Thailand, any photos of the king's escapades are censored and banned from being shared with any members of the public. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you next time.